Summary of Adam Smith's The Wealth of Nations The Wealth of Nations is a book by Adam Smith, a Scottish moral philosopher and economist, first published in 1776. The book offers one of the world's first collected descriptions of what builds nations' wealth and is today a fundamental work in classical economics. By reflecting upon the economics at the beginning of the Industrial Revolution, the book touches upon such broad topics as the division of labor, productivity, and free markets. Smith begins the book by discussing the division of labor, which he argues is essential for economic growth when people specialize in particular tasks. They can become more efficient and produce more goods and services. This is because each worker can focus on the task that they are best at, and they can use tools and machinery that are specifically designed for that task. As a result, the total output of the economy can increase significantly. Smith then goes on to discuss the role of markets in the economy. He argues that markets are self-regulating and that through the process of competition, individuals acting in their own self-interest will ultimately promote the common good. Smith also discusses the role of government in the economy. He argues that the government should have a limited role in the economy and that its main function should be to protect property rights enforce contracts and provide public goods. However, the book remains an important influence on economics and philosophy. Its ideas continue to be debated and discussed today, and they provide a valuable foundation for understanding the modern world. Thank you for reading and listening.